Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisplayRepair.com. In this video we'll show you how to use a sunshade and answer some of the most common questions related to this topic. So if you don't already have a sunshade you'll see why it's good to have one. Stay tuned. DisplayRepair.com be sure to visit us at our website despairrepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. A car sunshade blocks the sunlight from getting into the passenger cabin through the windshield and windows. In most cases it's made from a reflective material that the sunlight can't penetrate. Another common type is a sunshade made from non-reflective material that absorbs UV rays. Both of these are very effective against sunlight and significantly reduce the cabin temperature while the car is parked. In case of the sunshade for the windshield, it also helps preserve the dashboard surface and keeps the steering wheel from getting hot. Most car sunshades are the same on both sides as this is more convenient for using and mounting. If the sunshade has one reflective side, be sure to turn that side towards the sun. With the other type, it basically doesn't matter how you turn it as they are same on both sides. First, unfold the sunshade as most of these are foldable for more convenient storage. If you have a sunshade like this one, first take off the rubber straps and unfold it. You can unfold it completely at once or fold from one side to the other. Once you unfold the sunshade, you'll see a purposely made dent in the middle of it. This is for better fitting around the rear view mirror. Besides this, it helps center the sunshade. When properly positioned, fold down the sun visors and use them as holders for the sunshade. This is, at least from my own experience, very effective. Some sunshades may have suction cups, but these tend to fall off due to strong sunlight. Also, you can sometimes use the strings to hang the sunshade onto the visor. The end result is a completely covered windshield. If everything is okay, only a very small amount of sunlight will get into the passenger cabin. The other type of sunshade is mounted with suction cups. As mentioned, these tend to fall off because of heat. The best you can do is to previously clean the glass surface so it can maybe hold better and longer. When you don't need the sunshade anymore, best fold it and put it back in storage. To fold it, just do the whole procedure in reverse. Fold the sunblocks back into place. If the sunshade is attached in any other way, take it off. After that, fold it and put the straps back on. With the other type of sunshades, like these, fold them back inwards. Avoid leaving them around the car unfolded as they can easily get damaged or torn. One more thing I must mention, avoid putting the shade on the outer side of the windshield. It can easily get damaged, wet or blown away by wind. If you don't have a car sunshade, buy one as soon as possible, especially if you live in a warmer climate with more sun. They're cheap, but very effective against strong sunlight and the UV rays. Also, they give you the advantage of entering a much cooler passenger cabin during the summer. When you're driving passengers in the rear during the summer season, especially kids, mount the sunshades, it will provide the much needed protection. Climate control can only cool down the passenger cabin, but can't protect you from the sunlight and UV rays. 
For the end, if you have to leave your car in an open parking lot in the sun for a long time, a combination of the mentioned types of sunshades is probably the best solution for keeping the passenger cabin cooler. So that's it for this time, hope the video helps, please like and subscribe it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.